Hi, this is Paula from Alanda Craft, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make these, this cute little envelope using the Brother Scan and Cut. Um, we'll be using the Scan and Cut Canvas software, and I'll show you step by step how to make these. But these are super cute. You can see they just open up like that. So you can use them in your scrapbooking, and you can use write a little note in there to your sweetheart or to your loved one. And you can use two-sided paper too, so that when you open it up you get another pattern on the inside. So these are super cute, really easy to make, and let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come over here to the basic shapes here and click on that. And we want this little round shape here with the ruffled sort of edges, this one here. We click on that once, it'll pop up on the side here, and we don't want to change the size of this, okay? So just leave it exactly as the size it came in as. Then we want to scroll back up in these shapes here and select the square. So click on that, and we've got a square. So again, we don't want to change the shape of the square, keep them both exactly the same. And I'm just going to zoom in a little, just so we can see what we're doing. What we want to do here is we want to line up this circle exactly with the square. So see you've got these two dots here. You've got a dot here and a dot here. We want to line up those dots with the corners of the square at the top here. So if I click and drag that down, and then see how those dots are sort of lined up there. Now to make this perfectly lined up, I'm just going to see the first one's already highlighted because it's got the dotted lines around it. I'm going to hold the shift key down and click on the square down here so that both are highlighted. Okay, so they're both highlighted. Now you come up to edit, click on that, and align and center. And this will just make sure they're perfectly lined up. Now that they're both selected, they're still both selected, make sure they're selected. You want to right click and you want to hit weld. Okay, so that's our first bit done. Now that we've got that piece, what we can do is we can right click on it and go duplicate. Right click again, duplicate, and right click one more time and duplicate. So we want four of these pieces, okay? Now drag three of them out of the way here. We don't need three at this point, and I'm going to just zoom in again a little bit. I want to drag these right out of there. Just bring this up to about 75, just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got our first piece still sitting there, and we want to drag one of the others over and into it. And what we want to do now is rotate this one. So you can see you've got this little teal colored, I think it's teal colored um, circle up the top here. And when you hold your mouse over it, you'll get this little circular arrow. Okay, what we want to do is hold the shift key down while we're doing this, so keep your finger on that shift key, and then click on that little circle and rotate it once and twice, like that, and let it go, let the shift key go. Now that you've got it like that, we want to drag this, and again we want to line this up with this, so it looks like that. So the way to do this nicely is just to make sure that all these lines look thin. So what I mean by that is, and I'll bring that up, if I was to drag this bottom one up, see how that line here looks thick now? If I drag it back down, it looks a bit thinner. So you don't want it looking thick because that means you haven't lined it up properly. That, that to me is too thick. So just line it up so it looks as thin as possible and same over here. Okay, once that's done, you'll notice that we've got one that's already highlighted because we've got the dotting, dotted lines. We hold the shift key down now and click on that other one up here so that both are highlighted. You can see they've both got the dotted, dotted lines. And then we want to right click and weld. There we go. I'll just bring this down. Okay, so there are our first two pieces in. Now we're going to do the same again with this next one here. We bring this in and we want to rotate it. Hold the shift key again and click on that little circle and go rotate it until you've got it all the way around upside down now. Zoom in again. This time we want to line this one up. Oops, click there. Line it up there. And again, I'm just lining it up. Now you can play around with the align. If you go up to edit align, you can play around with these to line these up. But I prefer just to line them up um, by sight. Um, see if I click on the other one behind here, I can line it up. So these these points here are all lined up. Perfectly, and that looks about right there. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to highlight everything. 
so I'm going to hold the shift key and click down here so that everything's highlighted and right click and weld okay so bring it down again so we can bring our last one over bring this one over and again we're going to rotate it so I'll hold the shift key and rotate it around this way this time okay zoom in again and this time we want to line it up over here okay so I always look at these points here see how you can tell if they're not lined up see how that's not lined up and I just keep dragging until it forms a perfect line there so that's pretty good and again we want to weld these so we've got that bit highlighted we hold the shift key and hold the other bit so everything's highlighted and right click and weld okay so that's our main bit done now we want to have some um, dashed lines here so cutting um, folding lines so we come over and grab a square click on that and we don't want to change the size of it we just want to click and drag it and I'll just zoom in, in again we want to drag it so that it lines up with the middle of this so just click out and click on that one again I'm looking at this point here see how I can sort of move it around so that it just joins and that's pretty much perfect once that's done I click on the square and come up to here this option here click on that and this is the dash pattern down here we want to select that and I usually like this one here let's click on that one and that creates now the scoring lines for us okay now we want to just group everything so I'm just going to click on the square hold the shift key down click on the other shape out here so everything's selected and then right click and group all right and we are done so that is our envelope ready to go we just want to save it now so I'm just going to call it envelope you can call it whatever you like just type it in up in the project title field and then I'm going to click download and you just follow the instructions there I'm on a Mac so I just click that if you're on Windows you'd probably right click and save it into your computer somewhere wherever you want to and then you want to transfer this onto a USB drive and then pop it into the side of your scan and cut and you'll be able to access it from there but we'll show you how to do that now okay so I've got my pattern now on my um, USB so I'm going to pop that into the side of the brother scan and cut here If I come over to my pattern here and tap on that one and up to save data and that's the USB there so I'll tap on that one and I just need to find my envelope oops there it was there it is there okay so I'm going to leave it as is I'm going to go okay and okay and I've got my paper and my mat. So let's pop it in. Let's press on this one. Okay, and I'm going to click on cut. And let's go. So we've got our scoring line, so we're able to easily fold these in now. Okay, and then we can fold a little envelope in. And there we go. How cute is that? So hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, I hope you can give us a thumbs up. And for our email subscribers, we will have this cutting file available for you. If you want to sign up to our email, you can do so. There'll be a link below this and you'll be able to access all of our cutting files, free cutting files for the Brothers Scan and Cut. And for our graphic members, 
uh, the premium graphic members we will have quite a few different varieties of these for you to download as well so thank you for watching